Hi, this is Patrick again from SpyFu.com. In the previous video, we talked about how you can use SpyFu Combat to start a brand new campaign. But what about those people that already have a campaign? Well, this video will show you how to use Combat to find gaps in your existing campaign and help you optimize it. I'm going to use the three same domains as I did before. Verizon, AT&T, and Sprint. But this time we'll say that I am Sprint. So I have a campaign that's already established, but I'm still wanting to compare this campaign with my two biggest competitors to help me gain access to their advertising secret formula. When people try and do this kind of competitive intelligence manually, a common complaint we get is double bidding. They've jotted down keywords and are now bidding on them, even though they were already bidding on them. When you're doing it manually, sometimes it's difficult to avoid that. We want in combat to eliminate all kinds of double bidding and still make it very easy to use. So at a glance, we'll be able to see how that works. This time, we're not going to click in the middle section because we already have those keywords. We're going to click here in the orange section, or better said, the section where your two competitors overlap, but you do not. These are keywords that your competitors have both shown up on in the last year, but you have not. When we get a more detailed look at this list, we notice that there is no green in the ad timeline, which of course means no sprint. So when you select keywords in this section, there is no risk of double bidding. You can also be confident that these keywords are solid ones because your two top competitors have been purchasing them. And since this is organized by ad timeline, you know that they've both been consistently purchasing them over a period of time. Again, this is working off the principle in ad buying that we believe in. The basic rule that says companies will bet on a keyword, but they won't waste a lot of money on that keyword, at least not for a long time. These top keywords are ones that both of these competitors have been buying for a while, which means they're probably a reasonable bet. Now, you can use your own discretion when picking the specific keywords. For example, if you don't provide a DSL service, that might not be the best keyword for you to snag. But overall, these are some primo keywords that you should seriously consider running in your campaigns. And we have a couple options in terms of exporting them to your campaign. You can either export all of the keywords to CSV by clicking right here, or you can pick and choose the ones that look best and export them to CSV. You can also pick and choose the ones you like and copy them to your AdWords account. Simply click on AdWords, up the bid price a bit if you'd like, choose a domain you want it under, and then hit copy to clipboard. Now you can go into your Google AdWords, go to the spreadsheet view, and just paste in the keywords that you just copied. Pretty sweet. In the final video, I'll let you know how to use Combat to eliminate wasteful spending by adding negative match keywords to your campaign.